I'll go first. It's uh, Saint Germain Tourist. Um, I bought this in a second hand shop. I think I was like 19, 18 or 19. I was studying music. We were both studying degrees in jazz, and it was like changed my life. This album. It was literally uh, the first album I'd ever heard, which combined old school jazz, all the old Blue Note recall recordings, which we were, you know, I'd been listening to as a jazz musician, and it suddenly found a way of like putting it into dance music. And uh, I mean, everyone knows this album. It's been on. I don't know, it's 12 years old now, I think, and it's uh, just a classic. Uh, I've chosen a Air, Air Moon Safari, and this album is just such an amazing blend of analog goodness with, you know, with Fender Rhodes and, and all of that kind of stuff blended in with electronic, you know, electronic sensibility and just uber chilled and uh, just a great listen with, with some songs as well. And I think uh, songs always play a big part in our music. Hey, well, the, the Chemical Brothers, Exit Planet Dust. Uh, when uh, I listened to uh, them on live in the radio, so it was like, wow. So I bought the CD right away. The day after, I went to the, to the record shop to buy the, the album, and um, I'm still loving it so much. It's so different than the, the music that was in that moment that um, I really love it. It changed a little bit my, my life, so, and the way I saw electronic music, so I chose this one. My first choice is Inner City. It's one of the basements of house music, and uh, got three, four, five, maybe six tracks that I love from the album. Fantastic album. The best mode is one of my favorite band ever. It's the fact that the music was based on simple uh, synth melodies that were coming back uh, and repeating. And um, it's kind of the basics of what we still do today.